Imagine increasing your hair count by 539% by using a topical serum that blocks DHT but doesn't lead to any sexual side effects or systemic side effects like traditional medications available to us today. Well, enter into the world the exciting new medication which is in the last stages of research called Brizula aka Clascoderone. Now a little bit more on this because there's been some recent data released in the last three days and it's pretty impressive. And it has been researched by a company called Cosmo Pharmaceuticals in Europe and they have just completed the phase three trials on 1465 men with male pattern hair loss over the age of 18. Now the drug was previously approved by the FDA in 2021 to treat acne topically and is now brand and it has been one of the best acne treatments available in the US. So it's got a good safety profile, but what they've shown is the 5% solution when applied topically to the scalp can have hair restoration benefits. So what do the phase three trials reveal? Well, in this randomized placebo controlled trial over a 12 month period, what they found is that in one of the groups, there was a 539% increase in hair count versus placebos, that's pretty impressive. And in another group, there was a 168% increase in total area hair count compared to placebo. Now, when they did a pooled analysis, of the two groups, it was regarded to be a 252% increase in total area hair count, and that was deemed to be statistically significant. And what was also really encouraging is that the safety profile was great. So the safety profile in the class coderon groups was comparable to that in the placebo group. So we like that this is a topical DHT blocker that does not impact DHT elsewhere in the body and does not lead to systemic side effects which people can be concerned about with respect to traditional hair loss drugs like finasteride or dutasteride. So this is very encouraging. There is going to be the submission mid to late next year to the FDA so it could potentially be approved and could be potentially available for suitable candidates to have it prescribed to them by 2027.